Uzbekistan will hold January elections. Ron Paul's campaign sets a fundraising record. And did you hear the one about Rosie? No? No joke? Britain? Okay. Hello and welcome to the news. The G is silent. Pakistan's Pervez Musharraf says he'll quit his military post and hold national elections next year after the U.S. urged him to do so. President Bush is like, <laughs> hey, P-Man, I see it. It's a good idea. You got a state of emergency there. It means you don't got to leave. I like it. I like taking ideas from you guys. Like Saddam, he had his spider hole. I'm going to get a spider hole here in the Oval Office, and then I'm going to declare a state of emergency. You guys are real thinkers over there. I like that. Oh, ah. Dick's giving me the scowl. He says, I can't stay. <sighs> you better go to Pervez. And Pervez Musharraf is all like, look, I'm, I'm not going to pull any punches with you. I don't want to go, but I'm going to go, okay? You know, you can take me at my word on that. My Pervezy word is my Pervezy bond. It's Scout's honor, right? Okay, I'm always prepared, and uh, I'm going to do the right thing for sure. Maybe. Republican presidential hopeful Ron Paul raised almost $3 million in 24 hours online to set a new record. Ron Paul supporters are all like, ha! Now you're gonna have to take us seriously, mainstream media! Ha! We're in the money! Ha! Yeah! Now you gotta report on us! Ha! You can't ignore us anymore! You can't ignore us! You hear us? You hear us? We're Ron Paul supporters! You can't ignore us anymore! Meanwhile, I'm guessing the conversation in newsrooms across America went something like this. Anybody got any news stories today? I need some good stuff to lead the news with. Um, uh, I don't know. There's not a lot going on. I saw something. No, it's gotta be interesting. It's gotta be sexy. It's gotta bleed and lead and all that newsy stuff that we talk about a lot. Uh, it's Ron Paul things, but nah, that's not sexy enough. What about the baby koala at the zoo? Yeah, let's set a live crew out there. Baby koala live shot. I like it. And it's reruns for the late night talk shows, the first programming to be affected by the Writers Guild of America strike. The night before the strike, I'm sure the writers are all like, I don't know, I guess we could strike. I mean, I'm kind of bored of being rich, eating all this caviar, drinking all this fancy champagne, and could use a little excitement, like, ooh, a picket line, that'd be fun. And the producers are all like, <laughs> This is really irresponsible. Can't believe they're so selfish. So it's idiotic. God, what's wrong with you? Selfish writers. And that's today's news. I'm Marta Costello. A little out of breath from all that scoffing. I'm actually a little lightheaded. So, uh, see you tomorrow.